Hi, so today I want to talk about this assertion that religious people often make in our conversations about the faith. The faith is a choice and we have the freedom to choose. Uh, I have been pondering about how to reply to this for quite a while now, so I'm making this video to share how far I've gone and I hope I could get some suggestions from you guys. Uh, okay, so I want to start with a thought experiment to explain my reasoning so far. So you could imagine situation A, a robber with a gun to your head uh, asking you to give out your money, and situation B, a friend asking you which flavor of ice cream you want. While technically you both have the freedom to choose what you're going to do next, you could give your money, you could stand up and dance, and you can punch your friend in the face because how dare he or she ask you which flavor of ice cream you want. Uh, but it seems useful to make a difference between those two situations because the consequences of our actions are very different. So, go back to the assertion face is a choice, it seems important to consider what are the consequences of choosing a face. You see, religion tells people what is good and what is bad. So for example, a Christian need to recognize people or their behavior as good or evil according to the Bible, and same for many other religions. So if you're wrong, you've accused an innocent person to be evil, or you might have led somebody evil of charge. So it seems choosing a religion involves something like when you're judging the court. Of course, not entirely that, but it involves, it includes something like when you're judging the court, that you're deciding who's guilty and who's innocent. And that's just one example of choosing a face can have bad consequences. Uh, so it seems therefore negligent to put it lightly. Or in other words, if we treat faith as a choice, it is not like choosing what flavor of ice cream you want. Uh, if somebody believes their pet could drive a car, that belief could come with a very heavy cost. Just a more secular example here. Uh, so I think there's some Socratic question that may be asked in this situation. Uh, for example, giving the example of people letting their pet drive a car and kind of cause accidents, can beliefs have bad consequences? So if they can, which hopefully our interlocutor would admit at this point, then isn't it negligent or reckless, depending on whether it harms, it's harming you or harming others, uh, to not investigate whether the belief is true as advertised? Quote unquote. Uh, so how do we know whether the belief is true? So then it brings us back to epistemology. Uh, another angle I think I might be able to have a Socratic conversation is on how uncommon it is that faith is encouraged. Uh, when you're wrong, it is good to admit you're wrong and change your opinion. However, in religion, people are encouraged to believe not only under no evidence, but sometimes one facing evidence to the contrary. So the question, so the question I would then like to ask is, well, what's there to lose if you change your idea to something that just made more sense to you? I mean, this doesn't affect you keep on investigating and keep on learning more. Maybe your original idea ultimately made more sense after all, or maybe you'll find some other idea that made more sense. So if you could get your interlocutor to agree to that, which is a big if, uh, maybe you could then ask, can you think of a reason why people want to encourage you to keep on holding to possibly wrong beliefs? Yeah, maybe that was a bit of a stretch because it kind of suggests conspiracy, but okay, how about this other one? Uh, if an idea is wrong, then wouldn't be also be wrong uh, to encourage people to hold on to it, because that idea can have bad consequences. Insert the dog example here. Uh, so wouldn't it be important to know whether ideas are right or wrong? Uh, but anyways, that's my take on the problem with this whole faces a choice statement, and how to engage in so kind of conversations about it to find out why people are using such a statement, and I really like to hear what you guys have to say, because yeah. And this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you like it, well, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribing definitely have much less consequences than choosing a face. So 